In Romans chapter 3, verse 28, St Paul writes, We know that all, in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. When I was talking about this passage just a few months ago, I had no idea that we would find ourselves in today's situation. It's difficult to see how God can be working for good. We hear so much bad news. Part of the answer, of course, is that we don't have God's perspective. We can't see everything that he sees. And of course, our view stops at death, which we know is not the end, although that's easy to forget at times like this. But there are hints of good. There have been stories in the news about a major reduction in air pollution. In Venice, they can see the bottom of the canals for the first time in years. In a world where global warming and pollution are an increasing worry, they offer a hope that companies will realise they can use video conferencing rather than flying people around the world for meetings. That people will realise they don't have to fly abroad for holidays quite so often. On a smaller scale, we tend to see stories of hoarding and people putting lives at risk by ignoring advice. Yet if you look among the news stories, you can see your items of hope. People holding concerts from the balconies in Italy. Communities organising themselves to help people who can't go out to shop. People realising they've got more than they need and giving to those who are without. These are only hints that God's working and we don't know what they will come to. The world will be different when we come out of this. It's up to us to play our part, to take the opportunities God provides and make his love known. We mustn't forget all the bad things that are happening or make light of their effects on people. But we have our part to play in bringing good out of the situation. So let's do our part and trust God to do his.